I think the first gig I ever went to was Hearsay. Hearsay is done. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rina Sawayama and this is my first. The first artist I ever fell in love with was definitely Britney Spears. I don't know, I was watching Britney's videos yesterday and I was like, she's so fucking beautiful. Like, she's just, I don't know. Which is, it's kind of like a bit sinister, I guess, because she was like so young. But I think it was like, oh, I want her as an older sister. The first CD I ever bought, I was so cool. Oh no, wait, maybe it was City High? Whoa, that makes me look so cool. Actually, City High was not cool, were they? Were they cool? I don't know. I think it was What Would You Do by City High. It was either that or Hearsay. So it's like, very different. First band t-shirt I ever owned was probably The Bravery because I was like, Weirdly obsessed with them. Yeah, that was not cool. I was not cool. I'm still not cool. I think the first gig I ever went to was Hearsay. Hearsay is done. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I was just like fully obsessed. I think because I was obsessed with the program, so I was like obsessed with them. Um, it was either that or Escob Seven. And the girl I came with, like, had, she had to leave, so then I had to leave because the sound was too loud. And I was like, oh, that's so lame. Ooh, see, this is cool, because my first festival I ever went to was Fuji Rock Festival in Japan, now it's 15. It is a sick festival, because it is so clean, it's in the mountains, everyone's recycling. And I remember it was Franz Ferdinand, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and then someone else. And it was the first time I saw Yeah Yeah Yeahs, and it was, she came out in a squid costume, and it was iconic. The first full song I finished writing, I think was Sleeping in Waking, which I released in like 2013, but it's like, I've like, buried it and the only person that listens to it that insists on listening to it every time I go in the car is my best friend Chester he like plays it every fucking time I go in the car and I'm like it stops like haunting me um but I thought it was really cool because like the whole song's in like three fourths beat um I reckon that was the first song I finished and I was like yeah let's make like, shoot a video for it which you shouldn't do you should just wait and get uh, better <laughs> Oh, I used to be in a band called Lazy Lion with um, Theo Ellis from Wolf Alice and Jelani Blackman and this guy called Roman Page. Um, and we used to do like, yeah, we used to do like Camden, like small venues. Um, but my school had like a church attached to it. So I used to like perform in the church every like Monday, not every, it was like every month or something. But it was like 800 people. It's like quite big. So I got like quite confident at performing to like large crowds. But I would say that my first like solo gig was this like really fucking tragic, like open, not an open mic. It's like, you know, this industry open mic nights that they do in like certain studios. Did one of those. Oh my God, it was so bad. I remember Maxine Ashley was like the, the, the headliner. I never want to do that ever again. The first time I still had my song on the radio was um, we'd just finished headlining the garage and then we were in the van, all of us, and driving back to my house and then Cyber Stockholm Syndrome was playing. So I thought someone had put playing on their phone, like, because we all watch videos of the gig after the gig. So I thought that was it. And then someone was like, wait, 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 where's that playing from? And then we like turned up the radio and it was on the radio. It was fucking surreal. Ooh, okay, the first tattoo I ever got was this anchor. Um, oh my God, I was just saying that like, tattoos you get when you're a teenager like is never good, like ever. Who has got a tattoo when they're a teenager and it's been like, oh yeah, that's my favorite tattoo. Like no one, do you know what I mean? That's why you should always get tattoos when you're at least 20 
don't get it when you're super young because you always get stupid stuff. But that I was, I was telling myself that I was testing the ink because I was convinced I was allergic to tattoo ink. Um, and then I got that, and then I got that, and then I definitely wasn't allergic. I wrote this like huge speech to my mum when I got it, because I was like, I have decided to call my stage name Ren, which is like Lotus in Japanese. And I obviously fucking didn't, but like I sent her this long letter and like this picture of me on um, photo booth on Mac like this. I need to dig it out. My mum was like, my mum was crying. She was just she was like, what the fuck have you done to yourself? But she's given up now.